Good morning, you guys. What is up? It's your boy, Businessman Cam here, and I'm back with another video. It is 6.43 a.m. today, and I'm headed right now to go to a, a detail job. I have a detail job this morning, so I'm just gonna take you guys with me today to go throughout the day. Yeah, uh, we have three vehicles today, one truck, two cars, and we're just doing basic interior, uh, quick wash, so it should be pretty easy. Uh, I quoted the dude 200 bucks. He's a repeat customer. He just needs two cars to be sale ready. He's getting ready to sell them. And then the third one just needs to be washed in the interior. Same thing, just a little basic interior. So I actually invited my roommate to do this job with me today. He could use a little bit extra cash, so figured why not. Hopefully we can knock this job out pretty quick, but I'm getting my car now so I can pull the car up and load my generator into the car. And then we're gonna go ahead and head to the job. Alrighty guys, so we're here on location for the day. We have three vehicles to do. This truck, um, there's a Trans Am back there, and then this Ford Focus. So let me just show you guys. This first vehicle, I'll show you guys as a go, but we're gonna work on this one first. This is what the first one's looking like. Not too bad. A little bit of crayon discoloration there. Try to get that out. Door panels. Hey James. <laughs> and then this here's the seats front cup holders not super bad just a little crummy but yeah we're gonna go ahead and wash the outside first um it just rained a lot so i'm gonna go ahead and get it cleaned up all right so we just finished up with the wash on this one just have to put some tire shine on but we got it all washed up this car has a lot of holograms on it, could use a nice, um, uh, you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, so we got it all washed up, and then now we just got this interior, and then we'll continue moving on, but got it really nice. So we just finished up with the interior of this car. Show you guys the outcome. Uh, got the seats cleaned up. I am gonna turn on my steamer and get that cleaned up. That stain, and or hopefully anyways, but we're gonna start working on the next car while my steamer warms up since we already finished. But yeah, I mean, it wasn't too bad to begin with, but we just wanted to keep it clean. It took us about four, like 50 minutes to finish it. 45 minutes ish so not super bad but yeah so now that we're done with this uh, all right guys so i have to finish recording on my phone because my camera died so i'm sorry but we finished with this car so now we're going to start working on this f-150 um same thing just a basic wash it's not too bad and then doing a basic interior so we're just gonna vacuum it up get it wiped down it's really i actually really like the trucks because the trucks on the panels are super long so they're really easy just to like wipe down the whole thing there's like a lot of long just flat panels so um we're getting these we're getting this car and then there's a grand am over there pontiac we're gonna take care of this we're gonna wash it first really quick and then go ahead and do the inside but we pretty much finished washing that other car but i wanted to show you guys the coloring um because i'm actually getting it out with my steam but also a combination of my enzyme remover so i'm just giving it a nice little spray and then i'm not even having to agitate really i'm kind of just letting it soak and then kind of going in like this and you can actually see the color coming out and moving and wipe it down and then i've done this a few times already so the more and more i do it the lighter and lighter the stains become so I'm just gonna kind of do that across here and uh, it should be looking real good. All right, so we finished washing the uh, truck. Looks pretty good. <gasps> this is what we are looking at. We still gotta finish the tires. We're gonna do them last. The sun is out. Everything's drying super, super quick. But yeah. Hey guys. Uh, so yeah, now that we're done with this, we're just starting on the interior. I'm um, doing a little bit of vacuuming to start out, obviously. So, doing that, James, my uh, roommate, my AKA my side guy, is doing the door panels. And then we'll continue on and do the seats. 
middle, uh, I'm forgetting all the names of everything right now, but anyways, we're gonna continue. Just finished up with the truck. So this is the, why do I sound like a robot? This is the interior. Uh, got this cleaned up, middle seats. Uh, dash. Yeah. So now we're pretty much done. I did the windows. Uh, tires will do last one, but done with this other car. But yeah, so pretty much now that we are done with these two, Last car is this one. Uh, it's been about three and a half hours. We probably have 30. He already did the interior on this one while I was finishing up that one. So we probably have another maybe 30 minutes, 35 minutes left and we will be packed up and headed out. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on this one. This is probably the dirtiest one out of all of them. So this may take a little longer, but yeah, he's getting started on the tires right now because we do wheels and tires first. And then we, you guys see, wet them up, we do them and then we do, <laughs> and then we do the rest. But yeah, so let's go ahead and finish it up. Nice, beautiful, uh, sunny, Southern California weather. And uh, yeah, this guy has a beautiful house and a trailer and everything, it's crazy, but all right. All right, so we've done half the car, so half of washing this car so far. You guys can see like, this is the difference. I mean, we're kind of under shade, so it's hard to tell, but we're only doing the car, but we're washing the car by sections because the sun is directly, like literally directly on us. So it starts to dry really quick. So we have to do by sections. So we did the window by section, and then we did this front part. And then you guys can tell this is what the car actually looked like before. So it's like almost a half and half. So now we have the rest of the car to wash. And uh, this dude, but uh, yeah. So you guys can see the difference there. We're gonna go ahead and finish it up and after this, uh, we should be wrapping it up. Right. Alrighty, so we just finished up. I just told the uh, customer, shut up, we're done. But uh, finished, I told you guys we already done, did the interior of the Pontiac. We're just finishing up the glass, but we completely washed the whole thing. Really nice car actually, but yeah. Got the truck done and got the uh, four done. So got all three done. We are just kind of packing up now. We still have to finish just the wheels on there real quick and then we'll be done. And um, yeah, so today was a pretty good day. Uh, the customer, this is actually a repeat customer from a year ago. I haven't been available to detail his cars and um, he told me uh, upon arrival when we started cleaning that he had some detailers previously do his cars, um, but they didn't do as good. And so they, he contacted me again and I finally had availability, which was really nice to hear. Um, and it's not only customer service, it's, you know, detailing itself and uh, you know whatnot. So he just uh, asked me who to write the check out to. He's gonna go write his check, I guess. And uh, we're just finishing this up. We're gonna finish packing up, finish the wheels, and then we'll head out of here. So um, yeah, definitely keep your customer service up uh, for repeat customers as well as, um, you know, just your quality. Uh, try as hard as you can because as you can see, like I just told you guys, you know what I'm saying? Dude, he came back to me instead of the hundreds of other detailers in this area. You know what I'm saying? So that's really nice to hear. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up so we can get out of here. Alrighty, you guys. So if you have reached it to the end of the video, please be sure to hit that like button for your boy. I want to apologize for my camera dying. I wasn't really prepared to record that day necessarily. Um, so I apologize for my camera dying. I'm going to try to have a series showing you kind of rebuilding my business in a new area since you know you guys should know that I have moved into a new location. Kind of how the new customer experience, how to getting new customer experience is and everything like that. But um, I kind of just wanted to recap the pay for this video. So we ended up making, um, I ended up charging $200 for this detail. It took us four hours, did three basic interiors and three basic like exteriors or just a basic on all of them just to get them ready, uh, two of them ready for sale and then one of them they just wanted washed. But it took us four hours. I know it may seem like a very extensive time. There are many reasons for this. You know, I had a new partner. We had issues with our generator, so I had to fix that. 
and the dude was talking to us for probably over an hour while we were working and you know you don't want bad customer service where well, we were obviously talking back to him uh, just letting him talk to us about whatever while we were trying to work so and that definitely took up a lot of time uh, you know I can go on and on and make a bunch of excuses but anyways it took us four hours so that is what it is ended up getting $240 it took us four hours so $240 divided by four is 60 you get $60 an hour yes so I actually did have to give my friend some money I think I paid him about 35% we're still working on uh, figuring that out because he's gonna be my partner through this thing kind of as I build it again so I believe I gave him $90 flat which leaves me with $150 and if you if you divide 150 by four then you end up getting 37.5 dollars an hour so not bad obviously there's some things i'll probably have to refill um, otherwise you know just chemicals everything else is working perfectly fine and we're doing good so anyways that's about it for this video guys if you guys did enjoy please be sure to smash that like button for your boy subscribe if you're new comment down below if you guys want to see something in particular and uh, that'll be it so i'll see you guys in the next video thank you guys for watching peace